welcome YouTube uh, today among to carry on uh, creating uh, web applications using the J2EE JSF uh, also with uh, the prime faces so what we're going to do again open up my IDE the net bit sample 2.1 Well, okay, here we are. All right, so we have to wait till it uh, it finishes processing, open up, uh, opening up all the projects and stuff like that. Okay, so we're gonna create a simple new project new project java web uh, web application then click next uh, we are did want to call this tutorial 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 one click next and again we're just going to use the class fish server three point something and the java ee6 web click next uh, select the Java server fa faces rather JSL and then click finish so if you've been watching my previous uh, tutorials uh, I used uh, the prime faces library that came with my IDE with my NetBeans IDE but for today I'm just going to show you how to import uh, <coughs> sorry import a new jar file maybe you want the recent the latest I don't know right now as of this time I have 3.4.2 as my latest jar file so anyway let me close that anyway uh, let's get started I have my index page this is my index page and uh, to add um, the jar file the library the prime faces library externally that is I have already downloaded from the website that is uh, prime faces .org. prime faces .org, that is the website once you're there you go to the download button and click download and on the download oh we have a new one uh, the 3.5 RC1 prime faces jar well I prefer using the binary versions so you just download the binary version 3.5 let's say keep here and um, I believe in five seconds will be done okay so this is our jar we open the containing folder all right yeah let me put it uh, in other jars that I've been using before the jars that I've been using before okay so minimize this to add a jar you, you or in NetBeans you don't have to drag the jar from the external and put it in the library folders of your project library folder of your project actually you have to right click on the project and select add jar or folder you have to right click on the library folder and say add jar or folder add jar or folder then you click right there as you can see this is just my recent download the prime faces 3.5.rc1 and I click open 
and it will start loading over here so this is my job file and it has everything in it uh, all the components that we want all the components the overlay panels the whatsoever the two bars the two tips the three images the watermark the um, I don't know so many components that are here so it's uh, close there okay we are now fine but how then do we make it uh, this project understand some of the commands from the prime faces what we have to do is add an extensible markup language naming space XMLNS with a P we have to include it in our project so it's going to be X M X M L N S full colon P equal to uh, HTTP this will be the web address for prime faces primefaces.org some websites rather uh, used to use uh, some websites use the primefaces.com and it's no longer working that way uh, since primefaces new domain is .org they're now using the .org so what we're going to do I'm just going to change here tutorial it's going to be our title I believe you are all familiar with this and change everything here so what we're going to do today is um let's just we're gonna do what can we do okay let's just um build uh three panels three layout rather layout so we have our layout unit now sorry about that uh layout unit layouts we'll click within the layout we get layout units p um for prime faces layout unit since we have declared p here in our namespace uh representing the prime faces this is just the uh, the same we check on the time seven minutes oh this is just the same so we have our layout unit so what you need to know about layouts is that uh, as you can see it's highlighted here as you can see it's highlighted with the red uh, ragged line this is because layouts work with um, position center as default it, uh, every layout has to have a center layout unit so as long as you don't have that then it's just gonna be in error and mind you when typing for center here yeah, or any position center north south west you have uh, to put everything in small letters it's a rather case sensitive like you know so here we're done with that and uh, what else we can add another west uh, another layout unit over in the west the position position worst okay okay so to easily identify this uh, let's put the header file the header we just gonna call this center one center one and then for the header for the west layout unit we're gonna put this one the west kid I don't know I, I don't have any names right now in my head I'm just writing writing anything that I think of so I'm on I'm going to run this and it's deploying so the save time I guess I'm gonna have to pause the video a bit so carrying on uh, it's done its processing so we visit the web browser in my case it's the, the Chrome so you can see uh the two layout panels the center one this i had this one and then the west kid that's one but then the problem is somebody may ask like why it's so big uh why is the phone so big and it's not looking so cool and why is it like 
you're floating like that how can I change the size of it okay in a minute uh, we'll try to do to edit that okay to edit that uh, sometimes we have to make this the layout have the full page attribute set it to true since it is um, an attribute uh, a boolean attribute we save that we rephrase you see the lines they're no longer so up in the air like what they used to be and in just the remaining minute maybe I can change the again show you how to change the text and reduce the font size go back to our net beans we had a cascading style sheet here uh, so it's supposed to be style oh sorry so it's supposed to be style uh, then type it's text wow I'm really running out of time so I gotta be fast and then that and then a class a user interface widget these are they come bundled in as um as a part of as part of uh, as part of prime faces so user interface user interface widget widget what do we want to do we just want to change the font size to a bit smaller maybe it would look something quite good font size here uh, take it to something like 12 pixels 12 pixels and save that so let's see the result see it's now neat and more professional and um there is no that margin from top though but sometimes we might need it so in the next tutorial i hope i'll show you how to really arrange it uh maybe one tiny little thing that i can show you right now is to change to increase the size of um our waist layout unit to something like 200 save that go back refresh small professional and i like it in our next tutorial we will uh carry on with the uh, the layout units thank you